Hey there, Solemn Salmon here, checking out some of the new details for the upcoming 2.2 update for Stellaris. Dev Diaries are now back, and with them we'll get some more concrete info on the next major update, which has been named the Leguin update. Whilst the devs are still being cagey on a release date for 2.2, or whether we'll get an accompanying DLC, we can check out some new details on the new economic system. It's definitely a case of out with the old and in with the new in Leguin, and a lot of the new economic systems in 2.2 will be far more mod or accessible. For one thing, fewer systems will be hard-coded, thus allowing for new mods to do different things in-game, such as changing the resource used to build ships or the resource used to pay for their upkeep. The new system of economic templates also streamlines the code used for certain parts of the game, which will hopefully simplify the process of modding. Wiz uses the example of army upkeep, which previously was a jumble of different code, but could now be unified under an economic unit, easier to find and understand, even as it varies aspects of the game across different species and ethics. So that's a great new addition for the strong modding community Solaris enjoys, but if you're just looking for new gameplay updates, perhaps you'll be more intrigued with the new advanced resources added to the game. Alloys, rare crystals, volatile moats, and exotic gases are new resources manufactured from basic resources. There's no definitive confirmation whether the existing trio count as the basic resources, or found in rare planetary deposits. The dev diary also sort of answers a question I had about 2.2, the fate of strategic resources. Given that strategic resources themselves have only recently undergone an overhaul, it is somewhat surprising to learn that they're being redone in Le Guin. How their function is to be the subject of a later dev diary, but number 120 does state that a number have unique benefits for an empire's economy. Overall, it's quite the change to the existing economic system, so it should come as no surprise that Wiz states they essentially deleted the existing one and replaced it. On a housekeeping note, Wiz states that with the expanded number of available resources, only those deemed key to your empire will appear in the hotbar, with the rest contained in a drop-down list. Science is also now displayed as a single number, the sum of all three branches, with the tooltip displaying each type's amount. It's a very technical dev diary this week, but it's nice to be back to feature diaries. We'll be getting our first look at the planetary management system next week though, so stay tuned, like and subscribe for more, until next time. Thank you.